This is a tutorial about how to create an essential grid with custom items. So I'm going to here at my dashboard, I'm going to scroll down to essential grid. Sometimes I get confused and I stop at essential grid posts. That's not where we are. So we want to go here to essential grid. And once the list of grids loads, we have our grids here. All right, I've got my list here and I have a design all picked out that I like for the one that's here marked Hawaii. So I'm going to hit the duplicate button here and make a copy of it so we can just work with that. And it'll say grid duplicated and then it'll reload the list. And it's named grid one here at the bottom. And I'm going to go into settings. So for this one, we'll call it um, U.S. Mainland Events, and we'll call it U.S., or we'll just call it Mainland. So now we're going to go and say what kinds of things we want, and we're going to say custom grid. And now that we've selected our custom grid, we have to add some items. So we'll go down here to the bottom, and it says, what kind of thing do you want to add? No media, that would just be text, um, which could be a link. We can add video, we can add Vimeo videos, YouTube, sound from SoundCloud, or SoundCloud, or an image. So let's say an image. It says you want to add one image or a bunch of images. We'll just do one. We have some restraint here at this moment. So we'll say choose image, and I've set up this image here, just as a sample. And we can give it a display order if we want, we don't have to. We can give it a URL to go to, we can give it a title. Make sure that you scroll down here and put your link in the post link. That way, it'll know where to go when you click on it. And we can fill in any of this other information, but it's really not required. So then I say um, add elements. And it'll show me a little preview down at the bottom. Don't worry about these buttons across the top. These are um, for us to arrange more items. Once we have all the items we want, we can hit save. And it should come up with a little, hey, I saved it, which is great. So let's go to a page we want to put that on. Alrighty, I want to add my new grid. So I go down here, I add a new essential grid, and it says, what grid would you like to add? And I say, oh, the one I just made. That's why I made it. Let me say add selected grid. And there we are. And we can hit update. And I should be able to go to the page once that's done. And there we go. Hope that was helpful.